Welcome back to Devices Startup channel again and today we will learn how to log in into any router. So first and foremost, you need to know the IP address of your router in order to log in into it. If you know the IP address, then you just simply need to type it in the URL or address bar of your browser to access the admin page of the router. But if you don't, then need not to worry let me tell you how you can find the IP address of your router. So for both Windows and Mac users, the most simplest method is, is to install a free software that is Netgear Genie that will show you the IP address of your router. The link of the software is provided in the description. Once installed, you need to go to the network map option and click the router at the very center. It will show you the IP of your router. You can later uninstall the Netgear Genie if you want. The second method is without installing a software. So for Windows users, you need to press Windows plus R and it will open a run box for you in the lower left hand corner. There you need to type CMD and press OK. A black screen will appear. There. You simply need to type ipconfig, the spelling will be i-p-c-o-n-f-i-g and then press enter. The IP address that comes beside the default gateway is your router's IP address that you need to type in the URL of the browser. Now let's learn for the Mac users. So for the Mac users, you need to open system preferences, then you need to press network option. If it's not already selected, click your network connection on the left hand side, most commonly Wi-Fi and press advanced. Now press the TCP IP tab, the router's IP address displays here next to the word router. So you need to note down this IP and type it in the browser. Now on the login page, you just need to type the username and password. You can have a look at the back of your router for default username or password. You can also check online on Google about the default username and password for your particular router or you can even call your internet service provider for the same information. After you are logged in, you can make changes as per your choice like changing the SSID or even password of your router or putting up children restrictions, etc. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, then do kindly hit like and subscribe to support us. Thank you and have a blessed day ahead.